an astronaut accidentally called 911 from outer space and uh, sent NASA into a frenzy. I don't even know you can make phone calls from space. How the hell does that, does that even work? Do I get Verizon from space? I wonder, do I have... <laughs> I have Verizon. I'm not trying to pimp out Verizon. I'm just saying, if I bring my cell phone up into orbit, can I call? Can I call my mom and be like, "Yo, do you see me? Look out! <laughs> look out the window." Well, wait till it gets dark. <laughs> An astronaut has told how he accidentally called 911 from space, sending security teams at NASA's Houston base into a frenzy. Andre Cooper's missed missed out a number when making a call through headquarters back on Earth. Or two headquarters back on Earth. Ended up connecting to the U.S. Emergency Services. The astronomical blunder sparked panic at the Johnson Space Center in Texas and a security team was scrambled to the room where the call was put through. He had been orbiting Earth in the International Space Station when he tried to make the call. The 60 year old astronaut explained how he had pressed 9 to make an outside call and then he tried to phone internationally by pressing 011 but mistakenly let out the zero alright so it's like if you ever worked like if you work in an office sometimes to get an outside line you dial 9 and then of course if you want to call internationally you you dial 011 and then the country code etc so he dialed 9 to get out of the of the uh, the space station, <laughs> which is funny how a space, sta a space station acts like every other office I've worked in, <laughs> where you gotta dial 9 to get out of the space station. <sighs> and then you gotta dial 011 to dial the country code, and so instead of that, he dialed 9 and then 11. What's crazy is the call went through, the actual, the operator, <laughs> 911, <laughs> are you... <laughs> Yes, 911. I'm I'm lost in space. Can you help me? No, no. We only handle terrestrial emergencies at 911. By the way, just saying, if you were lost uh, somewhere on the ground, I could possibly help you, but I can't can't do shit when you're up there. 911. An asteroid's about to plow into my recliner. Oh no, sorry. Can't do shit about that. This is 911, and we only operate on Earth. <laughs> Uh, you know, 911 operators get crazy calls all the time, so this probably wouldn't even phase them if they got a call from space. They'd just be like, eh. It's not as weird as those people that were calling 911 because Kentucky Fried Chicken ran out of chicken. Uh, so oblivious to the chaos that he caused, the Dutch astronaut said he only realized his error when he received an email the following day. Speaking in an interview to the media, he said, I made a mistake. The next day I received an email saying, did you call 911? And he said, uh, I was a little disappointed that they had not uh, come up. What does that mean? That the, uh, the astronaut, this astronaut who completed two space missions, totaling 203 days, also told how it is surprisingly easy to communicate with Earth while on board the ISS space station. Wow, really? He said that phone calls worked about 70% of the time. But the huge time delays were what was a struggle. He said, uh, sometimes people would hang up because they thought I didn't say anything. So later on, I started to talk as soon as I had dialed the last number. So they probably didn't even get through to that. He probably, 911 probably hung up on him because he didn't say anything in time. That's pretty crazy. I always wanted to know, um, like, what it would be like to make a phone call from space. Uh, in 2015, British astronaut Tim Peake tweeted about calling a wrong number from the ISS himself. He wrote, I'd like to apologize to the lady I just called by mistake, saying, Hello, is this planet Earth? Not a prank call, it was just a wrong number. Oh man, I'd love to get a wrong number called from space. Unbelievable, that'd be so cool. I'd actually like to prank call people from space, I think that would be the bomb. I mean, who doesn't want to call their friends from space? Brian, what's up? It's Jonesy, yeah. Yeah, you know where I'm calling from, bro? I don't know. Uh, you're in the Bahamas. You're at a casino. I have no idea. No, no. Try um, hundreds of thousands of feet in the air. Are we miles in the air? Miles above the Earth. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I don't even know how far space is. Yeah, but I'm not in Earth's orbit. Let's just say that, sir. I'm outside of the orbit. I'm, dude, I'm doing a drive-by of Mars right now. What are you doing with your life? 